Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today is a super windy day and maybe the drone I have to review is not the best for these conditions because it's the super small new Flywoo Flylands 75. And I'm super excited because this is the 85 version and this is probably my favorite 2S 2 inch drone. It's incredibly light yet it's powerful and also it's silent. So it's a perfect stealthy drone and it has the naked O3 as you can see. And before I open the box and show you what's inside, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know if you think smaller will be better. And if you want to buy something, check out the links down in the description. There will probably be a discount coupon, so even better. Let's go. Boom. Let's open carefully because it's full of little bags. And yeah, let's remove them. And down there you will see how it's packaged. You see the drone has its own slot and a couple of batteries at the side. And just look at these Flywoo branded bags. You get a 3D printed naked O3 camera protector. And wow, there are actually four landing foam pads for your drone, so you have a lot of spares. And this is amazing, it's a 60 mm O3 camera connector, so you don't have heavy and very long wires hanging around in your drone. Flywoo, that's amazing. And then there is this little box, which I think it's optional, but I mean, it's amazing what's inside. It's a naked little O3 camera. <laughs> Super cute. I don't know if it's a original DJI one or if Flywoo started making them. They say it's the same quality as the original, but just look how tiny it is. Incredibly lightweight also. Then there is a very packed parts bag and this I'm sure is included in the retail box. Everything else, I guess it was optional. There is an ungodly amount of little bags with extra hardware and screws and everything is labeled. I mean, this is the most precise work I've ever seen on a parts bag. And also you get the usual hexagonal key and Philips screwdriver. You get an extra set of 1609 four-bladed propellers. They still use this kind of uh, battery holders. This is for a 1000 milliamps battery and they slot in like this. They have a keyhole. And there is yet another replacement foam landing pad. I don't know why they gave me so many. Right angle USB-C connector. 3D printed full O3 camera protector. And these I believe are optional, but it's a 750 milliamps 2S battery and a 550 2S. As paperwork, you get the flight controller pinout and very nice metallized stickers. Finally, it's time to open the drone. Let me grab my scalpel and boom. And just look how smaller it is compared to the 85. It's crazy. Also in my hands, it feels very, very light. 44 grams. It doesn't have a camera, this version I have right now. And they want me specifically to use a full O3 on this drone, not the naked one they make. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do just that. Frame looks very nice, super light plastic, but they are flexible and resistant. You see, they, they will flex probably before breaking. The carbon is nice, it's blacked out, nice white strips. You can see the antenna are pre-installed in the back with the wired hanging loose in there. And also this is the 2.4 GHz Express LRS integrated receiver inside the flight controller. This is the way to mount the battery, is a 3D printed TPU loop. If you use the same kind of battery, like a 750 milliamps, every time it's fine. Otherwise, if you have different batteries, you, you have to start switching them out because they are only one size. And I just wish they had uh, normal battery straps. There are two holes right here and a battery strap will go through them, but mounting the battery like this is an issue because you have the USB port sticking out and it's gonna scratch your battery. Even if you put a rubber mat basically here you have no space and this has to be designed a little bit larger to accommodate a longitudinal battery it, this is not a deal breaker but i don't know for me it's not as convenient as a normal battery strap and this down here is my favorite part about flywoo micros they have a very very nice built soft mount they never have jello the flight controller is a goku f4 12 amps one or two s one and you have to use two s for the O3, otherwise it doesn't turn on basically. And the motors are Robo 12 O3 14,800 kV. So super, super, super fast spinners down here. And boom, the full O3 is inside and the weight as you see it is 79 grams. With a naked one, probably you are around 60, 65 grams, which in my opinion is much better at this size. But 
this full O3 doesn't overheat, which is much better. Talking about the batteries, with the 550, you're gonna be around 106 grams. With the 750, you're gonna be around 115 grams. So still pretty light, but we are not sub 100 grams with the full O3. With the naked one, yes. Looking at the bottom mount, you have perfect access to the micro SD card slot and to the USB-C. Wherever way you put the O3, you can also put it upside down. Still, you have access. That's amazing. Some companies should learn from Flywo, actually. First time arming the drone. <laughs> okay, angle is better. So, first of all, you can see 35%. Wow, it's very controllable. Very, 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 very silent. I like this four-bladed drone. And today is quite, wi quite windy. Oh, oh, we are about to chase a cat already. No, actually, I am avoiding... Le oh, wow, I passed through that. It's crazy. Why is the battery running so low? Okay, so there we are involuntarily testing. Ah! The dog is chasing the cat. It's not... It's not a good thing. Wow, the cat jumped this way. Wow, this review is... Where is the cat? I don't know. This low battery thing is not uh, the best. We are running with the 550 milliamps battery. But so far, now the wind is a little bit better than this morning. But I have to say, it's holding pretty much very good. Seems to fly pretty good. A little bit of vibration there. But again, super, super, super windy. I don't know why this low battery thing... Oh, wow, okay. That was a very hard washout. I don't like that. And yeah, I mean, probably I'm using this drone wrong. You're not supposed to acro with it. It's not made to do that. Oh, yet for being... <laughs> So heavy, so... It, it recovers, I mean... The power to weight ratio is not the best because the full O3 on a 75 is uh, not ideal. And this low battery warning. Yet, it's flying uh, very, very controllably and this drone is made for this. You fly indoors very, very slowly. Don't mind my very, very, very messy basement. Three volts. Yeah, we, we have to land. Wow! And you don't really want to drop the voltage too much because otherwise the O3 will shut off. We flew for about 2 minutes and 30 with a 550. A little bit of aggro, a little bit of pushing against the wind outside. Indoors, if you fly slow, Probably you can do three minutes with this battery. It's not a lot. The O3 on this size is very, very heavy. And I wish they let me try the naked one. I'm gonna make another video for that probably because now I'm curious. And now let's fly with a 750 milliamps battery. Hope it flies for a little bit longer. Okay, makes a tiny bit more noise now, but still. I mean, for this size, this weight, it's pushing. And of course, remember, there is wind, but I have to say in angle mode or in um, not acro, it's very, very stabilized. Like, you can control it. You saw before I flew through those uh, uh, <laughs> branches and yeah, I feel uh, very, very, very in control. So this is an amazing indoor drone. If you want to hit some very tight gaps, this is fun indoors. Okay, let's put it in acro, test again. A punch. Okay, it doesn't look like there is jello. A tiny bit of vibration on these kind of drones is normal. Comes down um, straight with a fluttering. Also, before I saw a little bit of washout. But you have the wind moving this such a tiny drone, so it's 
is doing a lot, I have to say, for what it is. And yeah, I mean, so far, in my opinion, it's the best 1.6 inches I've tried to S. Because the Pavo Pico doesn't fly this good at all. And the high flight don't even talk about that. It doesn't have power, that drone, and it has jello. But the Pavo Pico and the high flight have jello. This one does not. So already, it's, it's a better drone. Yeah, the wind is kind of uh, making it hard. But, yeah, for, for what it is, it's nice. I hate these uh, winter days. It's not even winter yet, but the days are so short. It's crazy. This is uh, 4 p.m., everybody. It's setting. <laughs> How am I supposed to make the videos? Yeah, I mean, for the wind that we are seeing, it's not bad. Uh, yeah. It's the best, <laughs> the better tuned 1.26 inches I've tried. It's not incredible, but uh, yeah, looking at the competition, it's better. I mean, if I tried this <laughs> first without trying the other ones, I would have said, yeah, it doesn't fly incredible, but looking at the competition, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely better. And without wind, now you saw it's clean, so it's also today the wind making it hard to fly. It has recovery, flies nice, and we have been flying for three minutes already, so 750 seems like the right battery to use on this drone. Yeah, definitely. Let's uh, fly a little bit indoors. But yeah, we, this is the battery to use, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I have to turn on some lights inside. I have to land because it's... Yeah, of course. I always forget about this. I hope the video recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a battery destroyer. And we did about 3 minutes and 30 with a 750 milliamps with good flying, a little bit of acro pushing against the wind. So yeah, it's gonna do around 4 minutes, maybe 4 minutes and 30 in indoor condition with the full O3. And they, they are shooting at my back, it's crazy. <laughs> Not the best day to test this kind of small drones, but I have to do this review before it comes out, so I have a couple of days only, and winter is not the best weather. Yet, we have to test drones at their limits. And I have to say, it defended itself pretty good. Of course, the wind was moving it a little bit and causing a little bit of prop wash with the crosswinds, but still, it dives, it can do flips, it can acro, you can do power loops, stuff like that. Probably, in a windless condition is best and probably this is not the drone to do agro with you have to do cine whoop style flying and for that super super controllable very silent indoors it's amazing and i don't know why fly who specifically requested me to fly with the full o3 maybe they're preparing something for the naked one but i mean 79 grams 78 <laughs> and still has the led which is uh, superfluous, and if you remove it, it's gonna go around 71, 72. I mean, that's a better power to weight ratio so far than this one. I think these small drones are, to, are supposed to be used with the Naked O3, because it makes them so much lighter, so much better, so much more efficient. I'm gonna wait for the drone release and make the video, because now I'm very, very curious. And as I was saying while flying, this is the best 1.6 inches O3 Cinewhoop I tested so far. Because it doesn't take much to beat the competition really. You have to fly better and don't have jello and this does both of these things. And I don't have many cons for this drone, it's pretty well made. The only gripe I have with it is the battery mount system as with the 85. If they had a battery strap, they would be perfect in my opinion. So Flywoop, please make the battery strap attachment for these drones because they deserve it and talking about which one to choose probably this one is more versatile if you are concerned about space weight and size go with this one if you mostly fly indoors it's a better experience but if you want to fly outdoors sometimes 
in my opinion this makes more sense the sun is setting i am freezing out here it's time to end this review remember to like subscribe and comment on this video let me know which one between these two you like better the 85 or the 75 and as always if you want to buy something check out the links down in the description below probably there will be a discount code as well and you help my channel a lot so thank you so much stay safe and happy flying bye